Hi, welcome to the Regal Mix Oscilloscope, Mix Signal Oscilloscope unboxing. Uh, I'm in a equipment buying spree because my understanding of, of world events and world economy is that things of high tech are going to start disappearing. And wouldn't you know it, this scope, which is one of uh, is one of the highest tech Regal scopes you can get. This is a 350 megahertz four channel scope with 16 analog. I'm sorry, 16 digital inputs, so it functions like a digital analyzer. Um, when I purchased this from Amazon a couple weeks back, they were in stock. Now they're no longer available. I went to other equipment manufacturers, and sure enough, they are special order now only. Okay, so I might have gotten one of the last ones that were available. So I had started cutting this before I started the video, so I had not opened it yet. So it was stupid me. I forgot to turn the camera on. So, it comes in a nice double box. It's, it's double corrugated. I like it when equipment makers put their equipment in strong boxes like this. It says they give a crap. Power cord. Two sets of standard BNC leads, and these are passive but what frequency range it doesn't say it's okay I've got 350 megahertz leads if these are not instruction manual yeah somebody's watching us another set of leads and uh, USB cable Scope is in there. I'm gonna grab it by the handle and get rid of the plastic here. Ah, damn it. Okay. Wow, it's really nice. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Is there a nice end to this? Yes. Very nice. Oops, I got some plastic tape crap on the face. Now, get the silica gel out. Let's see if there's a power cord change here. Okay, it is rated for Okay, so there's those, we don't have to do anything for the power. All we have to do is plug it in. Because sometimes when you buy this equipment, there's a little switch on the back that allows you to switch the power input between 240 volts, which would be like European, or 120 volts, which would be the American, you know, the standard wall outlet line voltage. So this one is usable on both without any modifications required. So we're going to plug it in and see what it comes defaults as. Now I'm going to raise it up in the so you don't get the glare of the outside so much because it's it's where is there it is. Oh, do they have feet? Yes, they do. You see how glary it is. Oh, you got some glare going on. Let me zoom in. You know, I'm going to close the garage door so we don't have the glare. All right, now that I have the garage door closed, so you can see the screen without all the glare of the outside and the sound of lawnmowers and birds chirping and all that fun summer stuff. The uh, display is quite nice. It's bright colors against dark. That's very nice. Um, I haven't put any leads on right now. So we're going to be using this in a little while to do things. I'm trying to turn on channel 2. There's channel 2. The controls, I haven't even read the instructions. The controls are pretty much where I would expect them to be. That's the third trace and the fourth trace. Eh, I don't really care much for the dark blue. 
kind of having two blues is kind of redundant, but yeah, I'm not going to complain. Um, and what's nice is the buttons light up with the color. It'd be nice if they could let you change the color. No. Oh, it lets you change the label. So you can see this isn't channel four, this is such and such. Okay, I, I didn't, I, in the other room, in the uh, inside, I have the, the adapter here for the uh, logic analyzer. This is where the logic analyzer uh, thing bumps into. Um, so this is the unboxing of the Regal scope. Now this scope with the logic analyzer probe uh, cost me $3,200. Again, it's a 350 megahertz scope, 8 giga samples per second. It can do up to 16 logic input channels. Okay, these, this is a good capabilities for $3,200 because the equivalent Agilent scope is between $14,000 and $15,000 that does the same capabilities. Okay, and like I said, I needed to get it now before all this high tech starts, dry, starts drying up if, if the book Atlas Shrugged is correct. And so far, it looks like, uh, if you watch the video, I don't know if it's going to be before or after this, that I'm going to be producing called Atlas is Shrugging. I'll show you exactly the supply destruction, the technology destruction that goes on with the silliness that's going on in the world. And so there's going to be a little bit of a dark ages before things get better and, you know, but probably even war. And that's probably another reason a lot of this stuff is made in China and with the reduced relations between China and the United States, these are probably going to be more and more difficult to get. And I wanted to get them because I really can't see spending that kind of money on an Agilent. Now, I have spent money on Agilent equipment before things where the results were going to be used. That, you know, in other words, I didn't want anybody questioning the equipment. Here, I'm going to validate that this equipment works right in the next video where we're going to put it through the paces, see if the time base is correct, see if the voltage readings are correct. And so we're going to basically look at this scope. That video is going to be for Patreon members only. Thank you very much. This is the unboxing of the Regal 350 megahertz mixed signal oscilloscope. Thank you.